Hi friends, Mr. Stevens here. It is Monday and we're going to keep on practicing our soccer skills. We're going to practice the trap, we're going to practice the dribble, and we're going to practice the toe tap. Now we are going to practice those in activities that are a little bit more advanced than what we did last week. So let's get going, let's check them out. Alright, before we get going, we need to know what equipment we're going to need for this lesson. So I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to need some object that you can trap and that you can dribble. So a soccer ball would work, a smaller object that rolls would work, and even a sock ball would work great for our activities today. So that is what you'll need for your object, your ball object. Next, you're going to need five pieces of paper. If you don't have five pieces of paper, you can use paper plates, you could use a towel, like small little towels, anything like that will work. And then you'll need five objects to mark out places. Now, these five objects, they could be a water bottle, it could be a stuffed animal, it could be anything you have laying around at home, it could be a book, anything. So that's all you are going to need for our lesson this week. So let's get going. Pause your video now to get your equipment. Alright, our first activity is going to be the toe tap. Now we did this last week, but we're going to add a little spice to it. So we'll have 30 seconds, we'll see how many toe taps you can get. But instead of regular toe tap, we're going to go around the ball in a circle like this. While you're moving. Just tap in the top of that ball, like it. So you have 30 seconds, go. Five, four, three, two, one. Our next activity, we're going to be working on our dribbling skills. When we walked our dog last week, we kept our dog under control, used the inside of our foot to move it side to side, and we also worked on a trap if our dog got out of control. Well, today, for our activity, Thunderstruck, you are going to use both of those skills. You will hear some music being played, and that music, you'll hear the word thunder. And what does thunder make you think of? It makes me think of puddles in rain. So today, you are going to dribble using side to side form. And when you hear the word thunder, you are going to trap it on a puddle. Now I have blue poly spots because I'm in the gym. At home, you can have a piece of paper and just color it blue and that can be your puddle. So when you hear the music, you're gonna free dribble. And when you hear the word thunder, you're going to stop it on one of the spots. And you're just going to keep free dribbling for about three minutes until the song is done. Now there will be times in the song where there's a long break where you don't hear the word thunder. There'll be guitar solos. So just keep free dribbling. Work on that sideways dribble. Tap with the inside of your foot and then trap it lightly on one of the puddles. Go ahead. Grab your five pieces of paper and spread them out now, and make sure to listen very carefully for the word thunderstruck, then trap your ball. Dribble around.
awesome job. Our last activity is going to be the zigzag dribble or the weave dribble. As you can see, I have five cones here. At home, you can have five objects. Doesn't matter what they are, just to mark out your cone line or your object line. You're going to start with your object at one end and you are going to dribble using the inside of your foot to go weave slash zigzag through the cone. Just like this. And then when you get to the end, you're going to come back and do the same thing. Now, for you more advanced soccer players, you can use the side of your foot to move it too. But you want to use the inside of your foot mostly, but you might need to use the outside of your foot too, which is fine. So only if you're more advanced. So, zigzag. Just like that, you will have a minute to practice your zigzag or weave dribble. Go ahead. Begins in three, two, one. Fantastic job with our Monday lesson, boys and girls. You worked really hard on your trap, you worked really hard on your dribble, and you even worked on your toe tap. So nice job. Keep working on these skills as we go throughout the next week, and you'll be using it for this week's Friday challenge. So keep practicing those skills. You guys are awesome, and we'll see you soon.